the driving theory quiz. Don't forget to keep score so you can post below and let everybody know what score you got. 25 more of the trickiest theory questions. Let's go again. If you think the last 25 questions in part one were tricky, wait till you do these ones. Let's see who can score more than 20 out of 25. As before, you've got five seconds to answer each one, but feel free to pause it if you need to. Question one, what is a dual carriageway? It is a road which has a central reservation separating the carriageways. So even if there's only one lane in each direction, as long as there's a central reservation, it's still a dual carriageway. Question two, you see a pedestrian carrying a white stick with a red band. What does this tell you? They are deaf and blind. Question number three. What does it mean if a moving vehicle is showing a flashing amber light or beacon? The vehicle is slow moving. Question four. How fast is a mobility scooter allowed to travel on the road? Eight miles per hour. Question five's got four parts. You're on a motorway. What color are the cat size on the far left? Red. What color are they between the lanes? White. What color are they on the far right hand side? Amber. And finally, what colour are they at the slip roads? Green. Question six. You need to top up the fluid in your battery, but what fluid should you use? Distilled water. Question seven. You see a pedestrian with a dog that has a yellow or burgundy coat. What does that tell you? The pedestrian is deaf. Question eight. What is the main cause for skidding? The driver. Question nine, on a motorway, how far apart are the location marker posts with the telephone symbols on? One hundred meters. Question 10, on motorways, what vehicles have flashing amber and red lights? Traffic officers. Question 11. You see traffic officers on motorways and some main routes. What are they authorised to do? They can stop and direct anyone on a motorway. Question 12. You're about to go through a Ford. What might you see? A depth gauge. Question 13. You're at a petrol station. What does LPG stand for? Liquid petroleum gas. Question 14. In an automatic car, what is the kickdown device for? To accelerate quickly. Question 15. What are M and S tyres? They are mud and snow tyres. Question 16. What is a contraflow? A 
It's a temporary system where traffic traveling in opposite directions share the same carriageway. You normally see this in roadworks. Question 17, what does SORN stand for? Statutory Off-Road Notification. Question 18, what does this sign mean? Zebra crossing ahead. Question 19. You're involved in a collision. Afterwards, which document may the police ask you to produce? Your driving license. Question 20. You're about to overtake a slow moving motorcyclist. Which sign would make you take special care? The triangle sign, warning of side winds. Question 21. When approaching an unmarked crossroads, who has the right of way? Nobody. Question 22. What should you do if somebody in charge of animals signals you to stop? Stop and turn off your engine. Question 23. On a vehicle, where would you find the catalytic converter? The exhaust system. Question 24. Why should you remove a roof rack when it's not in use? Fuel consumption will increase if you don't. Before we get on to the last question, don't forget to comment below with your score out of 25 and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much. Now, question 25. Usually, what is the speed limit if there are no signs but there are street lights? Thirty miles per hour. Thanks for playing along. Hopefully that's helping with your revision. Don't forget to post below your score and subscribe to our channel so you get all of our latest videos as soon as they come out. Remember, there's loads of ways to revise the highway code. You've got your apps. Don't forget to Google stuff if you're not sure. It's important that you understand this stuff, not just for your theory test, but for the rest of your driving life. Thanks for watching.